doing a little bit of retail therapy today because I had a doctor's appointment that I just wasn't happy with. And I went to Walmart and I picked up a few things that I wanted to share with you and also tried on the, um, while I have you here with me on the, with my camera or online. Anyway, I just took off all of my makeup as you, my foundation as you can see here so I can try these products. What I picked up was some of the products from Physicians, new products from Physicians Formula, the pH matchmakers. I got the bronzer. I got the blush in rose. And I got the lipstick in pink, which was the only color they had in there. And I think these were the only pH matchmaker items that they had in the Walmart. So I just wanted to kind of come on here and they say it should match your skin tone in 60 seconds. So we are going to see if this actually works. So first I'm going to open up the pH matchmaker bronzer. And the container looks like that. And when you open it up, it's supposed to light up which there's a switch on the inside here that you press and it lights up and then the bronzer looks like that so one second let me grab some brushes i will be right back Okay, so I grabbed my powder brush and a blush brush. Both of these are Sigma brushes. And we are going to try the bronzer first and see how it does. It looks a little light to me, so I'm a little bit scared. But let's see. I don't know if I'm supposed to put it all over like a face powder but I'm doing that today because I want to see how well it works mm, it doesn't look ashy so that's hopeful we'll see what it looks like with my um foundation when I put it on but I do notice that those little white pearly things on the side it's just like a little top color or something. They kind of brushed off when I used my brush to put on the, the foundation. Oh, forgot to show you also. When you lift it up, it has another compartment here. And this is where this brush goes, which I will never use. Okay, now the next thing I have here is the blush. And this is in rows, and again, it's supposed to match me in 60 seconds. So let's see what happens. Open it up now. Do I need to turn off this light? Yeah, and you can't leave the light on. I notice you have to actually switch the light on and off right here. So I'll switch that off. I thought it would come on and off as you open and close the compact but it doesn't so this is the um matchmaker blush and it is in rose so it's in rose and this is what it looks like on the inside it looks like that on the inside once again it looks it sort of looks like a a rose with a little bit of coral in it to me. Yeah, on my camera it's looking very pink though. And once again it has the brush on the inside and it also has the light on the inside also. We'll turn that off right now. So it's good if you are um, reapplying blush or bronzer in the car. Okay so let's see that they, they are kind of powdery though if you can see the compact they kind of get all over the place when you put your brush on them so let's just tap that off and yeah 
opinion this is not perfect but I'm using the compact to look into the mirror so I can see what I'm doing not perfect not a perfect application right now but I just want to see what the color looks like on my face okay so that is and I feel like I missed a whole patch or something but if you can see that is what the blush looks like and the last thing from the PH Matchmakers is the PH Powered Lip Gloss. Let's see if I can focus on that. PH Powered Lip Gloss in Rose. Okay, so I'm opening this up now. And I kind of just wanted to do it on film. Open them up so you know that this is something that I just got. And I just wanted to kind of try it out for you all to try. Okay, so I thought I was, re was recording, but I wasn't, which irritates me to no end. Um, what I thought I was recording was the application of this um, lip gloss right here, which is the pink pH Matchmakers lip gloss. And what I wanted to show you was that it has a little button on the top. You press it right here and you get a light on the bottom of it. I'm sorry that kind of blinded you. And since I already put it on, I didn't want to like redo it on the here because it wouldn't be like a true indication of how well it worked because my lips already had color on them. If I tried to wipe it off, it would be stained or something. So it wouldn't be too believable whether it worked or not. But this is the color that the lip gloss turns on me, which I like not too out there pink something you can wear every day so i do like this lip gloss oh and what i said before that wasn't recorded i'm really so mad about that that kind of ticked me off but there's a mirror also on this side so if you're one of those people that reapply and you don't have like a lot of light or a mirror available you can just sort of do this type of thing here and reapply your lipstick your lip gloss but that is what I got from Physicians Formula pH matchmakers and um, price wise I would say it's moderately priced not the cheapest but not the most well I guess for drugstore it's sort of on the expensive side the blush was eleven sixty three, I believe the bronzer was thirteen sixty three. And the uh, lip gloss was $9. And I think they were all 63 So the price is a little steep for drugstore makeup. But the quality of it is pretty good. I can see a little sort of natural glowy type pink blush to my cheek. So not out there but it, it, it looks good to me. Um, I wanted to show you what I also got. Which is the Sally Hansen. Salon Effects nail strips and I got it in Love Letter and I had them before so I already know I like them so that wouldn't really be like a try it with me type thing but what I normally do with them is that I'll paint all of my other fingers with regular nail polish and then I'll put one of the nail strips on this finger right here so that's what I plan to do with that one but um, that was it for what I got from Walmart today Earlier in the week, I did get in the mail my Naked 2 palette, which I purchased from Sephora.com. Everybody knows that that one is 50 bucks. And from QVC, I got the Smashbox Photo Op Mega Palette. And this one is 93 I just wanted to show you what it looked like on the inside. We know what the Naked palette looks like on the inside because everybody did a video on it. But they look like this on the. It looks like this on the inside. Um, I think it has. I could be so wrong. I don't have the literature with me, but it has. I think like 56 blushes or something like that. And then it has cream eyeliners right here and right here. Actually, the first two rows I think are cream eyeliners. These two. Let me lift that up so you can see. And I hope I don't run out of battery. It's already ran out of memory on my car. But these two are cream liners. These are brow powders from Blonde all the way to Brunette. 
you have two blushes, you have three highlights. And on the top of the plastic is the name of each eyeshadow, blush, highlight, everything like that. But I'm getting a little bit deeper into it than I want to. I'll do a review on these later on. And my eyeshadow today came from that palette. Let me just show you quickly what that looks like. Not a makeup artist. No critiquing, please. Not a makeup artist. And so those are the other two things that I got this week. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Bye. Have a good day. Bye.